Welcome to season two of the Craft Beer Connoisseurs podcast. I'm Tyler. If you're new to the podcast, we are three friends and a producer who like to showcase craft breweries and their beers. Also, we like to end every episode with a short conversation on a variety of different topics. If you're not new to the podcast, well, welcome back. We will keep things similar to season one. After all, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. Whether you're new or returning, please feel free to listen to all of our season one content. And remember, to follow us on Instagram at Craft Beer Cons, send a friend request on Untapped, or subscribe on YouTube at Craft Beer Connoisseurs. Also, drop a comment, like, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Now for today's episode. Welcome to the Craft Beer Connoisseurs. I'm Tyler. I'm Chris. And I'm Brent. And along with us today, producer Rex. Oh, I like that. Mm-hmm. It's decent, not bad. Yeah. All right. So in today's episode, we're not going to be actually reviewing any brewery. What the hell? What? <laughs> Sorry, what guys. Doing? You know, will you tell us what we're doing? Oh, maybe I should. <laughs> and I guess we're not even trying two beers either. Oh my. What? This is so not us. What are we? What are we doing? I don't know. Why are we even doing this? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's Instead, just pack it in. <laughs> we are going to reflect on season two of the podcast and talk about things like our favorite parts of the podcast this season and our favorite brewery. And that's not all. We're also going to reveal the top beers and breweries of this second season. And again, similar to what we did in our first season, we're going to crown the top beer and the top brewery for season two. All right, we're back. This is going to be it for season two. This is insane to kind of think about, right? Yeah, well... We also have Rex's producer special next week. But yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, after that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rex wanted to make sure we said that. Yeah, you're right. So he's over there right now. He's like, <laughs> pump it up, pump it up. <laughs> the last main episode. So, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, this is, it's always a special time to kind of uh, look back and reflect a little bit. But uh, let's go through. Uh, we're obviously having beers for this episode. We um, are. Yes. So uh, let me uh, kick things off because I'm already talking. So um, I guess the, the idea that we had that came from Rex was that we're going to be having beers. Um, that we didn't have on the podcast, but we did have the breweries on the podcast. Yes. So it uh, all ties in nicely. So um, in honor of Urex, I got a beer called Single Friend <laughs> uh, from Refined Fool Brewing Co. So this is a cold IPA, a very cold IPA, in fact. Um, I had to put it in the freezer for a little bit uh, and then bring it out uh, with enough time. So it's a 7% alcohol uh, content. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's got a, a very nice can. And it actually looks like Rex on the front, so it's nice. Yeah, riding his little bike. Yeah, a little bicyclette. <laughs> well, uh, I'll go next. I am drinking the Velvet Bubble Lord from Flying Monkeys. What a name, eh? Yeah. What a can. What a- <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, it's Refined Fool. Or, or <laughs> it's not. <laughs> You're it's Refined not. Fool. It's <laughs> Flying Monkeys, uh, which we know that they have uh, you know, pretty crazy cans and Very pretty artistic. crazy names. Uh, both Refined Fool and Flying Monkeys both have crazy cans. Let's yeah. just go there. Yes, right? yes, yes that, that's fair. Uh, so this is a blueberry sour at six mm. percent. Mm. Yeah. So I'm kind of going yes and no in terms of a beer that we had in the podcast, but at the same time, kind of didn't. Uh, so I have one from Job Site. It is the Wilder's Flash White Stout, but it is without the vanilla or cinnamon. The one that we had on the episode was with both vanilla and cinnamon. Wow. Yes. Interesting. Really went off the beaten path. Oh, Congratulations. Yes, I did. <laughs> wow. What about Rex? Rexy. All right. So Rex has a bottle. So, oh. um, I mean, Rex is prepared to drink a little bit. 500 milliliters. Uh, Chris, you and I have tall boys and, and Brett with a little itsy bitsy can. Um, <laughs> so with that being said, the bottle is Trail Break, which is a tangerine milkshake IPA. 6%. Um, again, label on this one, a little bit kooky. And it's from Upper Thames. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I'm just going to maybe talk a little bit about my beer just right now. Uh, nice fluffy head on it, good color on it. And I've had a sip and a half and I am enjoying it so far. Yeah. As you, so uh, as the listeners know, they didn't hear us opening it up because we had opened it up before we started recording. Yeah. Uh, you didn't want to put in one last opener up, eh? I get that Rex. Appreciate that in the script writing. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't want me to have it on the last episode. No, no. Only when we're trying two beers. Um, <laughs> So anyways, when I poured my beer, I had, uh, a, a, Tyler, you would say a poor pour, uh, and there was quite a bit ahead, but, uh, yeah, I'm getting a nice, you know, kind of purplish color out of, out of this beer. And, uh, yeah, so far after a couple of sips, it's 
pretty tasty. Poor is very generous. It was a atrocious pour. It left the can and entered the glass. just dumped it in the uh, glass, actually. Uh, As I was trying to lift up my can and spilled a little bit myself. (laughs) (laughs) Here's a Rex. Anyway, uh, myself with the white stout. Again, it's a nice little copper color there. Uh, Definitely has that lactose, that little cacao, uh, if you will. I guess Uh, we'll have to. Yes, definitely. Basic good old white stout. Nice. And Rex has basically done his. Yeah, Rex <laughs> yeah, is done. I'm actually kind of surprised looking at uh, Rex's because it is a, a milkshake IPA. I thought it'd be a little bit more um, cloudy, but yeah. it, it's really not. It's it's kind of light and a little bit more crisp now, than pr- I Now, producer Rex, has that one been sitting in your fridge for a while? Or just, okay. Yeah, just, a little bit. Yeah. Mm, that could be the reason. Fair enough. All right. Well, um, Chris, why don't you tell us what we're going to kind of do here as we kind of walk through it? So we're going to go through a couple things. Um, we're going to talk about uh, the favor- our favorite brewery that we featured, um, our favorite moments at a brewery for the podcast, uh, our favorite moment of the podcast, and our overall favorite beer of the season. So, uh, you know, maybe for each point, we'll kind of go through uh, one by one. We'll each share our thoughts and then, uh, and then move on. Sure. Do you want to do it the same uh, listing that we have as we introduced our beers? Do you want yeah, to just kind sure. of keep it simple? Absolutely. All right. Well, if that's the case, I will be leading You're off. Up. Um, so favorite brewery we featured. So design-wise, I, I kind of split this a, a little bit different. Yep. So with design-wise, I said Wishbone. Uh, very mm. super clean, simple logo design. Um, and again, we had some more information on how they came up with it. And I like the story behind it. So it was really kind of cute. Um, and then favorite brewery featured, I'm going to go with London Brewing Co because it's very, um, like the, their beers are solid there. Mm-hmm. You know what you're getting? It's very consistent. Um, also you and I went uh, and did the tour for that, Chris. So it, it was a nice moment just to, to hang out with you a little bit. So I appreciate that. Oh, nice. And, um, hopefully in the future we can get some more collaboration with London Brewing Co and, uh, support local. So as it's a local brewery, I, I, I think we preach that a lot, yep. um, in the last two seasons, and so I feel like it's important to say support local as well. So nice. Uh, so for myself, I'm going to say uh, Anderson uh, was my favorite because, as I mentioned on that episode, uh, that was kind of the brewery that got me into craft beer. So it was nice to have them on the episode or sorry, have an episode about them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I liked both the beers that we had. I believe we had the autumn and the IPA. Uh, that was all the way back in fall. It was like almost a year ago. Seems crazy. Um, it is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so so that was, uh, I'd say, what uh, definitely the fi- my favorite that we featured this season. Yeah, in terms of me, I'm kind of the same way in terms of featuring the whole local watering hole, uh, just like we did with uh, you guys and Anderson. So job site, obviously, for me. Uh, in terms of being able to kind of go through the history and also review some of the beers uh, that they provide, which is glorious as well. And there might be a little hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink in terms of something with job state in a little bit. But uh, producer Rex is kind of going with Upper Thames. Uh, big fan of that. And Walkerville for the brewery itself. Upper Thames more so for the logo. Big fan of the logo. Mm, yeah. Right? And Walkerville because it's just a massive, massive uh, square footage brewery. And yeah. and town for the beers uh, as well. So w- w- we will say that, you know, I think similar to the first season, Rex was on that group chat with all the producers. And this was kind of like he was making sure that he was asking all the producers for their feedback. And it's kind of a compilation uh, yeah. of everything. I really hope those producers turn off the push notifications because like, that's a lot of chatting <laughs> going on. I think you said the exact same thing last Probably, season. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, all right. So on to the next one is the favorite moment at a brewery for the podcast. Um, so we did go to a couple. Some of us did. Some of us did not. And so the favorite memory uh, at a brewery for myself would be Wishbone. Um, so with that being said, we did have uh, an opportunity to try uh, a beer right from the tank. Yes. Uh, it wasn't cooled. It wasn't cold crash, nothing. It was just straight from the tank. Um, it was kind of nice to have that as well as the conversation with Tyler and understand the background and all his team. Like it, it felt like a very exclusive kind of opportunity to learn more about where they came from, what they're about. And, um, I like what they're putting on tap. So (laughs) yeah, it was, it was a good opportunity to kind of get out there and where it's located. Beautiful view. Oh, it's so nice. We just haven't been able to get out to the patio yet. Yeah. I I just haven't even been able to get there yet. (laughs) We we said we were going to do that. So uh, producer Rex, uh, so the only brewery that a producer was able to make it to was Wishbone. That's Uh, true, yeah. So uh, pretty easy choice. Uh, And uh, 
the the producer i believe it was santa that went with us to to wishbone um what the only one uh he was the only one to make it and so he said the same thing tasting the sour plum fairy from the tank was was really good yeah uh, uh, my, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yes, I, ha- I have not gone yet, yeah, Brett. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> so I was going to kind of say the same thing uh, about Wishbone, but I, I'm going to go with Clifford. Tyler, you and I went there. We had a nice yeah. nice day in Hamilton. We did. Um, I, I thought it was funny how, so we were communicating with uh, somebody through email from Clifford. I forget what their name was. And they weren't there when we got there to get the beers. Yes. Um, yep. But but Brad, who uh, is the co or the owner, I guess, of the brewery, yep. was there. And so it was kind of like, "Hey, we're here to pick up beers for the podcast," <laughs> and, and just kind of going. Oh yes, I knew you were coming. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it didn't <laughs> seem like the communication uh, internally at Clifford was all there, uh, but but we made it work. So uh, that was an interesting experience there. Yeah, it, it was a, a very good brewery. Yeah, and we were we got there like as soon as it opened, so there's yeah. no one else, and we were, had had a pint there and really yeah. good conversation actually too yeah, with Brad totally. as well. And uh, even though he was kind of put off guard by us being there, yeah, um, and there was were, also a festival. Yeah, they were sure getting ready for are, when you guys walk into a brewery, people yeah, are caught for off sure. guard. For well, sure, yeah. I think this is a good opportunity, Chris. Um, usually, when we do some of the beers throughout the episodes, and we talk about how many beers we've had from the brewery, yeah, uh, you usually get uh, told by Brett something. Right. I think this might be an opportunity that you could get a little redemption. Yeah. So, Brett, how many uh, breweries did you go to for the podcast this season? Uh, one. Actually, I went to Farm League to pick up everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, might okay. have, I might have went by myself and uh, sat there on a lovely Sunday afternoon when yeah. it was 20 what? degrees in mid-March. What a smart ass. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> you asked the question. I gave you the answer. And how was your tour? It was great. And who gave you the tour and what would you do? Uh, I sat there yeah. and they gave me a bunch of uh, lovely free beers and there then went and purchased some and then scripts math and blah, blah, blah. But we all got beers and we were all happy about it and it was yeah. great. And then we also, Chris and I had the online chat with uh, Matt. To, I'm, I'm, putting a go- oh, that's true, I'm putting a goose egg up on that one. I'm not counting it. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have had the beers for that episode. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, saying. yeah. So technically it is still one. Maybe. Yeah. There you go. Um, you know what, for the next one, I'm going to go last because I, I have something in the tank here, if you will, brewing and, uh, okay. you got to take a poop. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, uh, producer Rex is also saying that, you know, if, if you're counting farm league, there was also another producer that picked up beers from upper Thames. Yeah. For us, so I That's mean, fine. Yeah, you can get it te- technically two producer video visits. Yeah. Uh, um, all right. So the, the next, uh, thing we're going to talk about is the, f- our favorite moment of the podcast. So a lot of content to draw from th- there. W- there's a lot, uh, I, and there's a couple things that I, I might talk about. So number one was uh, producer Santa being so nice to pick up the uh, pickle beer. Oh, uh, yes. yes, indeed. That, that yes, we indeed. had, the spicy pickle beer. So I, I believe that was a very low rated beer for all of us. Um, it, it, it wasn't was. high. No. And here's the thing is, you know, it, Santa set a precedent. Yeah. So Christmas is coming and I'm looking forward to what's going to be under the tree. Uh, hopefully not that. Uh, <laughs> um, and also, uh, this is from another producer special, I believe. But uh, when our good friend uh, Trevor was here, uh, and, and uh, he decided he, he decided not to oh, yeah. put the beers in the fridge. Uh, and when you don't do that with a smoothie, the producer uh, sour, gets absolutely showered with it. Yeah, it's going to make a mess uh, in Tyler's kitchen. Absolutely. So that, not <laughs> once did he offer to clean it or anything. No, right? no, you guys no. picked up on that. So he no, just so, sat down and waited for everything everybody else. Yeah, yeah. He, he was drinking his beer. Uh, so that was a fun time. And uh, if you listen back to that producer special, uh, you can tell that uh, there's some you know good authentic reaction to it's, that. And you can it was, also it watch funny. it on YouTube as well. Say, it's yeah, the only true. one that has a YouTube video, an actual yes. video on it. Absolutely. I w- you literally just took my favorite moment of the year, <laughs> the podcast this year, because that was actually pretty funny. Uh, in terms of that, I think it's more so just having, kind of getting back to a sense of normal and being able to record most of the episodes in person this year. Um, <laughs> we, we missed a couple, but uh, uh, definitely, Did be- we? definitely better than last year. I don't know. I- I feel like Chris and I did a pretty good job. Yeah. yeah. I, d- I do remember missing one, but yes. yeah, yeah. Chris yeah. did miss one. Yeah. I missed a couple. I've not missed However, one. However, Tyler was here 
the whole time. Yep. Yeah. So if you guys want to figure out where we record this, I'm sure you figured <laughs> and, it out. We, we always had a producer. Always, yeah, yes. Producer Consistent. was always around. Yes. Sometimes it was a little bit in terms of trying to get them. Like, you know, sometimes they back a little last, day, minute. Uh, last yeah. minute. But Hey, everybody's got something going on. Exactly. <laughs> but no, I think more so just moments of the podcast this year is just being able to uh, hang out with you guys again. Uh, keep this going. And uh, spoiler alert, we're coming back for season three. We yep. are not getting cut by yep. anybody. <laughs> Mostly yeah. because we decided not to cut ourselves. We decided. Yeah, yeah. We decided. <laughs> uh, majority vote. Speaking uh, of such, I'm going to need some uh, money for the podcast host, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you, you take Bitcoin? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do. Uh, you, somebody want to go ahead and talk about... Uh, I, could, I could go ahead. Yeah, you, you talk about Rex. So, yeah, so producer Rex, uh, again, polling everybody's. And I believe, actually, they had a... Um, uh, not a survey, kind of a survey monkey to figure out mm. what was the best. And they determined collectively that uh, going back to something in the water, it was just a long time in the making to get that to where where we had it. So yeah. it was nice to see that uh, come to fruition. And um, much like sometimes creating a beer is it takes a lot of time and, and effort and a lot of different ingredients. And sometimes it works and it's great. And sometimes it doesn't. Um, in this case, it worked. It just took took a while to get there, and uh, it's nice to see something in the water open. And uh, I've heard, actually heard a couple people uh, have gone there nice. and, and have nice. actually really enjoyed it. So, um, kudos to them. Beautiful. It's kudos in a to great us. spot too. Mm-hmm. It is. Indeed. It is in a good spot. Now, for myself, um, this this is kind of something that the listeners actually don't get the opportunity to experience. But um, one of my favorite moments of the podcast is some of the stuff that doesn't make the final version of the recordings. <laughs> the which is outtakes. probably for the best. <laughs> so, uh, as you said, it's, it's the outtakes. And one of the best outtakes I think that we had this year that the listeners were not privy to was when we were going around and doing our introductions. <laughs> 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 and the introduction went something like, Hi, I'm Tyler. And then Chris said, I'm Brett. <laughs> and we all stopped and we're like, you don't even know who you are? <laughs> it was just so pure and so authentic. And yeah. I, to this day, I don't know where your head was at. I don't know. <laughs> I, we hadn't even had a beer yet. No. Yeah. And it was like a 10 a.m. in the morning. I think. Yeah. It was so crazy because it was like uh, just as we were rolling through it and the script was written perfectly. It's not like you, you read off like a different name that was written down. I shouldn't even need a script to know my name no you should <laughs> so it's it's those kinds of moments that um i mean we're very fortunate enough that as we've gone through this and we can kind of all i think agree with this um and, and rex and all the producers would as well is that as we've done this we've got better and better at it um, yeah, totally. but there's still going to be outtakes and those moments are just genuinely like fun, interesting moments. And, yeah. um, I think it speaks to us as a group that we love doing this. Like oh, yeah. we enjoy getting together. Yes. We enjoy having the beers, but like those moments, we shut it down and laugh for like five minutes. Yeah. And we, ma- we make fun of each other, mainly Brett, but we make fun <laughs> of each other. And, uh, I think that those moments are crucial to this. And I think that's for me, my favorite moment of the podcast is unfortunately the stuff that you guys don't get to listen to. Um, you don't get to experience, but, uh, just know that on this end, we're having a good time and we enjoy maybe, it. Maybe this. one episode next year, we just leave it uncut and just let it roll through. You know, less less work in terms of editing. Yeah, I right? mean, the we thing just let is, it roll through. The thing, maybe we put it on YouTube and do it that way. I don't know, yeah. but I feel as though sometime next year we just have to have everybody be privy to the, the laughter bit. that we have. Yeah, just the the four, oh, three of us plus the pr- whatever the producers, producers around. Yeah. Right? Um, I feel as though that could be a little. Yeah, I mean, but that, everybody. that's the thing is, it's not like we have a whole lot of outtakes though. Like it's, we'll stumble over a word once or yes. twice, and either we we'll keep on going or we'll we'll back it up. Gr- but, granted, though, if we do do that, you got to put the the uh, e beside the. Yeah, there might be a explicit <laughs> yeah, be a couple uh, word said chosen words that cannot make the podcast. Absolutely, use. or just use a bleep like an air horn. Yeah, we've done yeah. that before. Yeah, we before, we right? had to do so, that. I think in season one, we had to yes, do that a couple yes, times. We did. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Well, I'm glad that we've all um, found some kind of happiness as we've done this. Because yes. if we didn't, we probably wouldn't be going into season three. And Brett already told you we're going to be doing a season three. So yep. there, there it goes. Is. Yep. We're going to so do a season there is three. some interesting stats. Whoa, 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 whoa. time. Whoa, hey. Jumping so, ahead. Jumping see, ahead. That would be an outtake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. See? So to transition into it, what we'll do is the favorite beer of the season. And for everybody listening at home, you should already know what our favorite beers are. Uh, because you're just that dedicated. Because you're keeping score. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I'll start because I had the highest. Yes. That you did. You did. And the bestest. 
Um, so my favorite beer of the season, uh, without a doubt, was the Sons of Kent Mango Passion Fruit Hi-Fi Series. Um, great solid beer, and uh, I, I'm not going to talk too much about it, because you can go back and listen to the episode of Sons of Kent. And uh, we just had mine, uh, I believe it was the last main episode, and it was the Sweet Talk uh, from Prince Eddie's. So I was yeah. close to that five, but a four, seven, five. Uh, same goes for me, double. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's exactly what my best beer of the year was. Yes. Yeah. The, the sweet talk of 4.75. And uh, Producer X uh, might be a surprise to everybody because, uh, I mean, a lot of the producers that we seem to get on this episode or on the season, sorry, um, don't like a whole lot of stouts. A little closed minded. A little yeah. bit. Um, they should, you know, take a course in, in, uh, in beer, perhaps. And maybe that could help them out. Maybe be an enthusiast. There you go. Um, so, yeah, polling them again, uh, looking back at all the ratings. It was a stout, and this was the Pancake Bay Sweet Brunch, which, again, from Something in the Water. And um, I believe the producer on that episode gave it a four and a half. Four yes, and a half. Four and a half. So. And gave the popcorn a five. There you go. As he should. Right? <laughs> As he should. Oh, so now I can do stats. Yeah, that go, makes, go for it. I'm a big stats guy. Yeah. Yeah. I already know that. I'm a big stats guy. Uh, so, uh, 23 producers so far. Who could have thought? Because yeah. we've had 23 minute episodes. And Producer X, thanks for being number 24. There you go. Lucky um, number 24. Yes. And we this year we had a full season of producer specials. So 23 so far. And Rex's is going to come out next week, being 24, which will really be the end of our uh, second season. Yes. Uh, 46 beers have been tried on the podcast main episodes, um, which makes sense. You know, 23 times 2. Yep. 46. There you go. Yeah. Um, uh, do you do you want other people to say some stuff, or are you just going to keep going? I, I like to keep going. All right, sure. <laughs> you can spot, You can come in if you want. No, no, i just just trying to, okay. you know, I mean, you can, We can talk about uh, the gin from Brock Street and your uh, terrible mixology in terms of uh, yeah. making that. Yeah, we, we definitely <laughs> That's talked another about good it. moment for the yeah, podcast. Yeah, that was actually. a good it, moment. It was, yeah. and, and actually, I'm, I'm glad that you brought it up, because this uh, provides us an opportunity to say thanks to all of the breweries uh, that are involved here, um, including Brock street specifically with this, this item here, because normally we just do craft beer and Brock street does gin. And they asked if they uh, could send along some gin and we absolutely obliged. And it gave us something else to do. And it provided a different kind of twist and content for us. Um, And I think we all had fun in the producer at that time, um, kind of coming up with different recipes Mm -hmm. and yeah, you know what? They weren't all great. And, and that's okay because what we did at the time is we aren't gin experts. No, no we're not. No, we're not. Um, but we had, we had fun doing it, and we saw it, a bunch of different creations. The issue that I think we had, or at least with mine, um, it was very alcohol, uh, con- like high in content. Yes, it was. And it was meant to be a, a sipper. And the format of the podcast doesn't allow us to take our time and, and sip it. So, um, oh, No, I agree with that for sure. All, all in all, it was nice to come up with some creations. Again, check our Instagram out, Craft Beer Cons, um, because we do have a picture of all the, the gin yes. uh, um, creations. And and ho- and, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go well, ahead. I was going to say, hopefully it was cool for our listeners to listen to something a little bit different than, you know, beer and, and hear the, you know, our creations that we came up with. I know, uh, Brett, you and, and the producer at the time were kind of just off the top of your heads in terms of your recipes. Accurate. So, yes. so the, unlike you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's you mean why I they was didn't so taste great. prepared for yes. that. Day. Yes, you were. But I was just going to give a little fun uh, teaser to everybody out there is that that episode that we did with the gin was actually recorded at about 345 on a Sunday morning. Yeah. AM. Yep. Um, we had had a couple and then we figured, you know, what was the best time to do a gin episode was. Yeah. The middle of the night. I mean, and, and that's just it. It's not just we, we sit here prime time and record an episode and we're, we're good. Sometimes we actually have to pull uh, an all-nighter almost yeah. to, it, to Whatever the, the schedule there. allows, right? Exactly. exactly. Right. I mean, we all have lives outside of the podcast, you could yeah. have thought, right? Yeah. Um, it was a busy year. Speaking it of was. lives and things I don't remember, we had that p- spicy pickle beer that we just mentioned. Yeah. Uh, we well, also, from Craft Heads. Yes, from Craft Heads in Windsor. Craft Heads does make some good stuff. It's just that spicy pickle beer. Yeah. yeah. I didn't mind it. Yeah, I, I know you did. I know you did. I didn't yeah. mind it. I, it was I, what it was. I, I did mind it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. We also yeah. had a, a single hop series from Job Site. We, so we did a little flight of four different hops within a beer, which is very nice and great to kind of get the flavor behind each hop because each hop had a really different flavor. Yeah, and, and they were su- substantially different. Yeah. And speaking of that too, Anderson does a, a series like this yep. as well. Yep. And it's, it's nice to see those because um, as we grow – 
as we understand beer a bit more, um, and hopefully listeners at the same time, is you get to pick out what kind of hops you actually enjoy um, uh, tasting. Yeah. And we, as we mentioned earlier, we only had one five of the season. Thank you, Tyler, for that. <laughs> Just me on the clap. All right. Yeah. Well, you were the only one who had a five, so yes, it should be yeah. you in the clap. Yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, in comparison, season one, we had three fives. We had three. Correct. And yeah. I wasn't one of them. No, you weren't. Yes, I was so, two and Chris was one. Yeah. So, again, statistically, that puts you in the lead on five, which is it a does. shock to you absolutely I'm really no hoping, one. I'm really hoping a producer, one of these days, one of these days, yeah, let me tell these, you. these producers are, are shy to give fives, I, I wonder what's part of the contract for each producer. It's like, ah, oh, don't give a five. No, I, yeah, don't be the highest <laughs> rated person. <laughs> I didn't write it or, in. Or, We're good. Or woman. Yes. Yes, That's right. True. Person. Yes. yes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, those are some of the interesting stats. And we've gone through... Uh, where we've got some listenership, and yes. um, we're very fortunate again because our listenership, although majority is from Canada and and Ontario and we, Nepal, we've we do have uh, individuals who listen from other countries as well. And so, although although those stats aren't part of this, um, it it is nice to again have the listenership from from everywhere. So absolutely. So we're gonna take a quick little break. And then when we come back, we're going to reveal our best brewery and best beer from season two. All right. And we are back. We're back. Nice. Um, So as previously indicated by, I believe, Chris, we're going to be talking about the best breweries and the best beers for season two. It's the beginning of the end, guys. Again, the super fans are keeping track at home, so they, they already know this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing is we had to go to the uh, producer, and we said, hey, producer Rex, talk to the other guys, figure it all out, let us know what we've got here. And so, again, super fans, they probably already know the information that we're going to do. Yep. So, without further ado, yes. shall we do the best brew? We three? will. And we will start uh, from three to one. Okay. So okay. number three, and the way we did this was, yeah. Hold on, stop oh. for a second. Yeah. Is that a cat purring? <laughs> <laughs> it's National Lampoon's Christmas yeah. Vacation. Uh, so what we did obviously was we took the two beers that we had on the episode and we averaged the overall rating for them, and that gave us the best breweries. Wow. Yeah. Just a little background. Well, so. science. Yeah. Uh, so I believe it's math. Yeah. <laughs> math is science. Yeah, it's a type of yeah. science. Uh, so the best brewery number three was Great Lakes in Toronto. Congratulations. Uh, so we had the Canuck Pale Ale and the Hanlon's Point Coconut Coffee Porter. And uh, between those two beers, it was a 4.125 average. Very we, nice. we also need to get to the brew pub. This is enough. Yes. Right. Yes. All right. Uh, number two. Brrr. Okay. Uh, town. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. That, that was our first episode. It was, of yes. So they gave us outside jokes and link up. And the math is pretty simple on it. It was actually rated a 4.25 in terms of the brewery overall. Speaking you know? of that, I remember when we did the the episode for town. Yeah. And we started off like on fire. It was like, okay, this is going to be a great, it's a great season. This is good. And we had a good season. Yeah. But I think we were all a little bit concerned. Like, did we just have maybe perhaps the best brewery episode one? And, and and we we almost did. We almost did. So, that being said, number one. <laughs> you guys, yeah, Chris, your your drum rolls a lot better. <laughs> this I guy I sounds. I don't play the drum. No, it sounds like your snare's broken. You're using a two by four. Well, if, if you notice at the beginning of the episode, Brett Brett couldn't roll his R's when no. he said Rex. So, I know. I was yeah. letting that go. Yeah. I was letting <laughs> that go. Uh, so number one, best brewery for season two is. Prince Eddie. Nice. So on that episode, we had the Brass Monkey and Sweet Talk, which we mentioned earlier on. And uh, the overall score was 4.375. 4.375 for Prince Eddie's in none other than the county. The county. Yeah. Prince Edward County. That's right. Or Picton. Picton, to be or, specific. Or Picton, to be specific. So it's, it's funny, actually. Our number two brewery was our first episode. And our number one brewery was our technically our last episode sure. where we featured a brewery. And Great Lakes was right in the middle. And yeah, say, there you go. And between the, the one and the two, we had a lot of other good breweries, too. Absolutely. We did, and a lot of good beers. So uh, speaking of good beers, uh, we also calculated what the best beer was. No way. Now, 
it was a little bit harder than the breweries because we couldn't do a simple one, two, three. There were actually six beers that were tied with second uh, with an average overall 4.25. So when people listen, they know that we, you know, round it to the closest 0.25. Yep. Uh, so we had to go to the exact pre-rounding numbers. The research, yeah. the time that went into this, there was mathematics and least, science. It was at least another 18 minutes. The, oh. the producers were busy. So, Which is good. Yeah, it is good. Put them to work. Exactly. Uh, so we do have some honorable mentions nice. uh, who were part of that six, but weren't part of the, you know, we'll call it top three-ish. Yeah, three-ish. <laughs> uh, so the first honorable mention is Brass Monkey from Prince Eddie's. So good job, guys. Uh, they had a 4.125 exact before we right rounded on. up yep. to 4.25. For sure. Yeah. Uh, so the next one, sorry, producer Rex was looking at me for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, well, <laughs> Maybe because you got the next one. <laughs> was from Upper Thames because you know he did say he's a big fan of the logo earlier. It's true. Uh, this one is the Harvest Ale 2021, which came in at nice. 4.125. Good work. Good work. All right. So as you would suspect, you know some of the best breweries got there because they had some really great beers. So with. Uh, that being said, the last honorable mention is the Halen's Point Coconut Coffee Porter from Great Lakes at a four point wait up one eight seven five exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so these uh, these three didn't sneak it into the top three ish. Uh, <laughs> three ish. <laughs> three ish. And uh, exactly, they did not sneak it in. And and there's a reason why uh, we say three ish. So tied at second. Uh, negating the third because yes. we do have three in the top two, I three, guess. Three tied for second, <laughs> yeah. Um, is one of our favorites, actually, uh, from a brewery we mentioned earlier on in this episode. Jam Band Blackberry from Wishbone at a 4.25, exactly on the nose. There you go. Good job. Now, these uh, next two I'm going to couple together. Oh, that's so cute. Because they are from the same brewery. <laughs> the same brewery. Uh, so Outside Jokes and Link Up from Town are both at a 4.25 exactly. Nice. Uh, Again, at it early. We enjoyed it early. Yes, Good stuff. we did. Yep. Uh, oh, my goodness. Is it time? It is time for the number one <sighs> beer of the season. Drum roll, please. <sighs> And it is Sweet Talk from Fire. Prince Eddie's with a 4.5. Who could have thought if we had two 4.75s that it was going to be the top <laughs> yeah. of the year? Oh, yeah. man. Wow. Yes. What a season. Yeah. We did a lot. We did do a lot. We did do a lot. And we are going to do more. We will do more. But it is nice to see a, a variety of different beers that we've had. Um, a lot we enjoyed. There were some that, you know, obviously didn't tick our, tickle our palates the way that we would have anticipated. Yeah. But that is the beautiful, beautiful world of the craft beer industry. Well, if you look at the, uh, in terms of the honorable mentions plus the top ones, you got a double IPA, you got two New Englands, you got a sour, you got a porter, um, and then a couple IPAs, right? So yeah, it's not like we're just saying, oh, New England IPAs, top top one. Right. Right. It's, it's a different, uh, you got a little bit of everything involved in there. Yeah, and it's interesting because I think in our first season, we did probably a lot more IPAs than our second season. Like yeah. it, it seemed like every episode we had at least one IPA in our first season. And then in our second season, I feel like we did a lot of loggers, like a lot of, you know, Pilsners. Uh, we had some uh, some Marzins in there, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. So we were definitely venturing into different styles. So season three is going to be Sours? Oh, oh. oh you're, you're, getting, you're sours? getting Tyler excited. Oh. Easy now, easy now. Yeah, easy, easy. But I think... Uh, down boy, down boy. <laughs> it's funny, I was, I was just talking about the podcast to a couple of individuals that I met, and I said the one benefit that we have is the diversity of what we enjoy. Uh, we don't have three of us that like loggers or are fanatics over IPAs. We right. all have our own individual. And um, again... The podcast grows, the listenership grows, and we grow a as hosts. And that includes our palates and what we enjoy and what we don't enjoy. And um, I, again, I go back to it. We had a conversation about this in season one, too. Five, six years ago, we might not have really enjoyed Stouts and Porters, but here we are. We enjoyed Bush Lattes. <laughs> we did enjoy a bush lot or, well. or even, you know, some IPAs. Some right? IPAs, yeah. yeah. So we develop, you develop, we grow together. And I think that's kind of the message uh, coming out of um, 
season two is that we we grew together and we got through uh, some tough times. Bingo. And at the end of the day, we produced a product, and you guys hopefully enjoyed the product. Yeah. So and we're coming back. We're coming back for season three. We'll uh, also be right back with our farewell. All right, that's all. Not for uh, you know just this episode, but also for season two, and uh, that's gonna be it's gonna be a good season it's next so year. Sad. <laughs> Losing time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that that's gonna be it for today's episode and season two, except for the producer special that will be coming up for the Crap Your Concerts podcast. A- exactly. So thank you everyone again for listening to not only this episode but every episode or any episode that you listen to in our in our second season or our first season uh make sure because rex, rex is telling me listen to his producer special next week okay yeah and then after that you're gonna hear us again probably mid-august we'll say we are gonna take a little bit of a break yeah yes. totally. a little recharge a little recharge yes should make sure you tell your friends family and your favorite brewery and brewers there you go so from all of us and producer rex i'm tyler i'm brett and i'm chris and together we're the craft beer connoisseurs Thank you.